Settle down, everybody. Let's get back to work. Yo. Know, even though the market crisis is getting everybody's attention right now, even though it's almost like we've got a hurricane sweeping through Wall Street, there's been a quiet storm going on for a lot of families for years now. It's not news to them that the economy is not working. And what they've been looking for is so modest. You know, most people, what they're looking for are jobs that pay the bills. That they've got enough money to buy groceries and, and make dinner and, and, and doing the laundry and enforcing bedtimes. All the jobs that parents do and, and women especially do, uh, even if they don't get paid full, but that hold families together. You know, that, that's the thing that I always think about is, is how many jobs women have. And, and jobs that still, even in the year 2008, uh, too often fall uh, just on, on the women in the family. But, uh, but let's be clear, while women have been hit especially hard by this economy, so many of the challenges you face, equal pay, child care, balancing work and family, these aren't just women's issues. When a job doesn't offer family leave, that also hurts men who want to help care for a new baby or a sick parent. When, when there's no affordable child care or after-school programs, that hurts children who wind up in second-rate care or in front of the TV or out getting into trouble. When women still make just 77 cents on every dollar that men make, black and Latina women making even less, that doesn't just hurt women, it hurts families who find themselves with less income and have to work even harder just to get by. So you'd think we'd all be in agreement at this point on these issues. You'd think that solving these problems would be a high priority for anyone running for president in this country. Well, you haven't met my opponent, John McCain. Now, it's not that Senator McCain doesn't care about what's going on in the lives of women in this country. It's, I like to, I like to think it's just that he doesn't know. Because why else, why else would he oppose legislation to help women get equal pay and suggest that the reason women aren't paid fairly isn't because of discrimination on the job, but because they need more education and training? He must not understand. He must not know. Why else would he say that Roe versus Wade is a flawed decision and run away from a platform and run on a platform to outlaw abortion, even in cases of rape and incest? Why else would he propose a health care plan that actually taxes your health care benefits for the first time in history and gives insurance companies free reign to discriminate against women with histories of breast cancer and heart disease and other illnesses. He must not know. Why else, other than just being plain out of touch, would he claim that we've made great progress economically under George Bush? Why else would he have, as the architect of his economic plan, the man he wants to put in charge of the Treasury Department of his presidency, someone who said that we're just suffering from a, quote, mental recession, and that we've become, and I quote, a nation of whiners. <laughs> a nation of whiners. I tell that to the student I met, a young woman I met in Iowa who was working nights, sleeping just three hours a day, even while she was going to school full time because she had to take care of her sister's health care. She wasn't whining. She was just wondering why the federal government wasn't, want, wasn't giving her some help. Tell that to the folks who get up early to check the homework and pay, you know, pack the lunches and work all day and then head to those community college classes at night because they want more for their kids. Tell that to the military spouses who stay strong through third, fourth, and fifth tours of duty 
saying grace night after night with the same empty seat at the table. I don't know who John McCain's been talking to, but these are the women I've met on the campaign trail. Women who, no matter what you're facing, don't complain or ask for special treatment or, or deference or an easy way out. Most of you here today, you just, you just work hard and sleep less and do the best you can with what you've got. You're not whiners. You're the backbone of our families and our country. And it's time you had a president who knows what you're going through and will fight for you for a change. And that's why I'm running for president of the United States of America.